Hello, hello, hello. As you can see today, I'm surrounded by a bunch of little bugs. Uh, some of them are not so little. This is a giant bee. But one thing I'm missing here is a ladybug, my favorite. So I'm going to draw her first because I feel like the ladybug has been left out. Let's get started. Well, a ladybug has a very round body. It's a beetle. So I'm going to look, start with a shape that's almost like an oval, except I'm going to make this end flat. So I'm doing this rounded shape. It's like an oval. But this end, instead of being curved, is flat. And that's because that's where I'm going to add the head. Yes, um, ladybugs are very helpful, especially to gardeners because they eat garden pests like aphids. So if you see right there, I just added a trapezoid shape. And then I'm going to add a little curve right here. So here's the lovely ladybug. This ladybug is going to have some antenna and I'm just gonna use a dotted line to give it a cool style. And another antenna, I'm going to add another dotted line to give it a cool style. There are so many ways to draw things, but I'm, I'm trying to make this one my own. I'm going to add that line down the middle of her back, and it's slightly curved because uh, her body is curved. Her body is rounded, so I'm not going to make it perfectly straight. Ladybugs um, have wings underneath their hard shells. So this, these, this part opens up and there's some soft wings underneath this hard exterior. I'm gonna give this ladybug six spots. So I'm going to start with a big oval right about here on both sides. That's two. I'm going to make two smaller ones up top. And then two smaller spots at the bottom. That's looking very ladybuggish. The last thing we need to do is give her six legs. And just like she has three spots on this side and three on that side, she needs three legs on this side and three on this side. Ladybug's legs bend. They're not perfectly straight. So I'm going to uh, make sure her legs bend. So I'm going to make the front leg come up like this and bend down. And then add a little foot at the bottom. It's a leaning line. It's going to lean up and then back down. And then a little foot right there. Have you ever seen a ladybug crawling on something? Have you ever had one crawl on your hand? I have. It tickles, and then um, sometimes they just lift their wings and fly off. I always wish they would stay. All right, the next leg is going to be right about here next to this dot and spot. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with this leg. I'm going to make it a little bit longer and add a little foot. Same thing over here. Make it a little bit longer and add a little foot. And the last leg is going to lean down in a different direction. Like so and back and add a little foot. And this one's going to lean down and back and add a little foot. There's the lovely ladybug. I'm going to make this a ladybug on a leaf. Yes. So I'm going to draw a great big leaf with a line that curves around her body like this and then curves around the other side of her like this. My leaf is going to have a little stem right there. Ladybug on a leaf. 
the ladybugs are um, really helpful to, in the garden. They eat aphids, and, and they're just, um, they are not considered pests. And so if you see a ladybug or one lands on you, definitely don't be afraid. I'm going to pause and come back with color so you can see how I added color to this lovely ladybug. So I'm almost done coloring and I decided to mix the red with a little bit of red orange because many times when I see a ladybug it does not look solid red all the time. In fact I've seen some ladybugs with a little bit of yellow on their shelves. So I'm adding a little bit of red orange with my red crayon to make it just a little bit brighter red because that's what I've seen. All right, I kept it simple today. I only used about four colors. Well, actually five because I used this darker green and the yellow green and I mixed them together to make the leaf more springish because spring is a time when the bugs start coming back out. Did you know that ladybugs hibernate? <laughs> they do. That's funny. Uh, I thought that was just for bears, but bears and ladybugs hibernate. I hope you had fun. I had fun sharing that with you. I hope you'll come back and draw with me again. Remember, I always say this, and I mean it. Art does make you smart. <laughs>